So we've got our first trailer for the new Tom and Jerry movie. I have no expectations going into this. I grew up watching Tom and Jerry, but I haven't really followed the development of this particular project. So let's see what happens. After a lifetime of okay. being the world's most famous enemies. You can't count on me like one, two, three. I'll Tom and Jerry dead. are about to start over. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do all day. In the big city. Okay, so anim to the animation in live action New York City. Okay. This hotel has been host to four presidents, three popes, two kings, and we're about to host the wedding of the century. Do you think oh. you're qualified to take on this position? I shine under pressure, like a diamond. Or Rihanna. <laughs> One other thing. We have a mouse problem. With the what uh -oh. now? I'll catch it, sir. Everybody gonna shine. I was more like this, don't even gotta try. Oh, wow, this is so detailed. We could hire an exterminator, or we can leverage millions of years of predatory evolution. That the bed is <laughs> if a picture of this mouse is tweeted out to Instabook Face or Tiki Talk, we will be ruined. No, sir, that's not gonna happen. That rodent is toast. I will not let this hotel be ruined by a cat and a mouse. He shows up in everything. He's dying on us. It's actually violent. I think I might have just pulled this off. Really? We blowing up the whole thing. Everybody in the bouncy house go bouncy, bouncy. Alright, real quick before I give you my take on this one, be sure to let me know what you thought down below. And if you want to know some of my takes on a bunch of other animated films, check out this playlist right up here once this video is done. I'm gonna watch it one more time, and then we'll get started talking. Alright, so I actually have a lot more thoughts on this than I was expecting to have. I kind of went into this one, as I said, without any expectations, background knowledge, anything. I just assumed CGI Tom and Jerry updated like every other thing is. And instead, this very much feels like a throwback to something that we would have gotten in the 90s. And I tend to take that as a good thing because it means it's different and interesting and not just what everyone else is doing. And there's several different reasons for that. First off, it's just violent Tom and Jerry. <laughs> like, I, I, that was my other thought going into, like, are they gonna sanitize this? Are they, nope, no, he smashes his head, there's missing teeth. It's pretty violent. Probably not as violent as it got way back in the day and there won't be as much smoking, but it's it still has the classic viol animated violence that you got before. So right off the bat, that just feels a little bit more throwback than somewhat what we get in children's entertainment today. Second one, it's 2D animation. That is, it's not going for, um, or I mean, I guess it's, I don't know, how to, let me try to look at it even right now, trying to decide what, like, it, it, it's not going for just 3D as we normally think about it. It's pretty classic sort of design with a modern look to it. So it probably 2D style with coloring from 3D. I don't know. I'm not an animation expert. I don't know what I'm trying to over explain all of that. But um, it, it, it looks like an older style of animation rather than going for the most cutting edge. I appreciate that. And then beyond that, it's just also the sort of animation in the live action world, the Who Framed Ra Roger Rabbit style of things, which, I mean, there really haven't been a ton of those types of things in, in existence. And it was the sort of thing we talked about the most way back in the who framed Roger Ra Rabbit era, which is now over 30 years ago. So just a lot of things about it felt 
a little bit distinctive and interesting because they're not doing what most people are doing for these types of films these days when they adapt these types of properties, which happens all the time. So it found a way to, while doing this updated version thing that everybody does these days, find kind of a distinct little niche inside of it. Now, I, I don't, the way the trailer's cut, it's, it's pretty plot heavy in setting up this hotel and the scenario that leads to human interactions with the Tom and Jerry story that's gonna be able to run for a feature length. It spends a bit of time setting that up, so there's some lulls between the jokes and then it just, just kind of does the montage in the last 30 seconds of the violence. So um, it, maybe at times a little bit light on the humor, but I'm sure in the movie it, it balances out a good bit better. So I'm uh, surprising a little bit more interested this in this one than I thought I would be going into it. And it brought up a bit more nostalgia in a number of different ways than I was expecting from it as someone going in with absolutely no expectations. So I don't know how other, I have no clue what other people are feeling about this one, anyone's thoughts on it, what the buzz has been up to this point in time. Just my fresh take on it. It, it stood out a little bit more than I was expecting it to because of the animation style, because it is violent, and because it is kind of the Who Framed Roger Rabbit style of filmmaking, except uh, it'll, you know, even more tricks that they can use these days because obviously the technology is better. So I, I'm oddly kind of excited to check this one out just a little bit. Let me know what you thought down below and keep talking movies too much.